Hi, I'm Eric. We built Fontana into a multi-million dollar company in five years after starting it as a hobby in our basement. And one of the things that I really wanted to talk about today was how I do wick testing for our candles. If you're making candles at all, you know exactly how important it is to wick test every single batch, every single product, every single combination of candle that you make to ensure that it has quality, that it's burning correctly, that it's not burning too hot, that it's not burning too cold so that you don't get any heat out of it, out of hot throw out of it, or that it's not tunneling. So there's really two big aspects, making sure your candle is safe and making sure that it performs correctly. And in order to do that, you need to make sure that you are wick testing every single scent, size, wick combination that you put out there. I wanted to show you today how I do wick testing for Fontana. So we have a table dedicated to candle testing. There is no drafts in this room so that when we are burning our candle, we get a really good true sense of how that candle is going to burn in an environment that doesn't have a lot of air movement. If you test it with a fan blowing or with windows open, you'll get a lot of movement in your flame, which will give you inaccurate results. And so you really want to make sure that you are in an isolated area that doesn't have a lot of air movement. You can kind of see how I have things laid out here. I have them in rows and then I actually write with a little dry erase marker right around the candle of exactly what it is. I understand what vessel it is by looking at it. I write down the size of wick I'm using and the scent that it is. So it gives me a nice layout that I can just reference really quickly. You can see I have right now probably 20 different candles that I'm testing and they're in various stages of testing, whether they're curing or whether they're actually burning. And this really lays it out in a nice methodical order for me so that I can keep track of it all. A couple of other tools that are really good is a nice wick trimmer so that you can get good trims every time you start your candle. I also use an infrared thermometer so that I can gauge how um, hot the vessel is because you don't want your vessel to get too hot. I think the candle standard is that the vessel shouldn't get over 170, 175 degrees. So you really want to make sure that it doesn't get too hot. And then of course, a good lighter because you're starting a lot of candles and you don't want to do that with matches. One of the other things that we start testing is anytime we're working on new label materials, it's really good to have labeled candles. Not only are you testing that your candle burns perfectly, but you also want to make sure that all of the components of the candle, including the label, can stand up to any heat or don't bubble or anything like that when you are testing. So again, Wick testing is one of the most important things that you can do as a candle brand to make sure that you are putting out safe, quality products for all of your customers. If you thought this video was helpful or insightful at all, please like and subscribe, follow along for more of these tips and tricks on how we run our business. If there's anything else you would like to see, please leave a comment below and we'd love to hear from you.